Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica, and today I wanted to tell you what we are doing for Christmas this year. Now, we have four kids. We have a nine and a half year old boy, an almost eight year old boy, a five and a half year old girl, and a year and a half year old boy. So, normally, my husband gets a gift for all the kids, and I get a gift for all the kids. And then my mom and other relatives get lots of gifts for my kids as well. So, they usually have a pretty big Christmas. However, this year my mom was feeling stressed, so she said that she would give me the money she usually spends if I pick out the gifts. So this is why the list is a little bit bigger than it would normally be, but I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> I'm ordering all the gifts this weekend, so I'll put the pictures up on the screen as I go through them so you can see what they are. So for my oldest, who's nine and a half, I got him the Complete Cookbook for Young Chefs from America's Test Kitchen. And looking through it, it looked like it'd be really great for teaching you know, basics for different cooking techniques and things. So I thought that would be a good choice. I also got him a pogo stick and a pogo trick board and a fishing kit. This one has, I think it has like 72 different lures in it. So I went to order the toys this weekend and the fishing kit wasn't going to be here until January. I still ordered it, but I also added this electronic memory game, which I think he'll really like as well. And he will also be getting a remote control car. My husband's picking those ones out though because he knows what to buy and I have no idea. So <laughs> I may not be able to get the picture in the video, but everything will be linked in the description. Now for my second son, he is almost eight and he they basically wanted the same things. So he is also getting a cookbook, but this one is super simple cooking for kids. The recipes look a bit easier than the America's Test Kitchen one, although they're both you know kid recipes. He is also getting a pogo stick and a pogo trick board. Although he just fractured his collarbone sledding, so he won't be able to use the pogo stick or pogo trick board for the first month and a half, so <laughs> that's sad. Uh, oh well. But I also got him the same fishing kit, and he's also getting a remote control car. Since obviously the fishing kit will not be here for him either, I got him a chess set, so that way he will be able to play with something while his collarbone heals, instead of not having anything to play with for Christmas. Now my daughter loves all things girly, so she is getting nail polish. I love the kid nail polish. It's so easy to clean up. It just, when it dries, you peel it off and it's good. It's done. Unlike my friend whose daughter spilled a real bottle of red nail polish all over her leather couch and they never got that cleaned up. So kid nail polish for the win. I'm also getting her a kid blow dryer, which I think is so cute. She wanted a blow dryer last year, but I had a hard time finding one that was actually a kid one. So this one is a kid one and it doesn't get very hot so it shouldn't have any burns or anything like that. I got her cookbook as well. It's plant-based cooking for kids and my daughter wanted another dollhouse and one from last year broke so it just fell apart. That was really disappointing and it was like that cheap wood so it was, yeah, it was junk. Anyway, I'm getting her this dollhouse. This one only takes Chelsea dolls but she wanted one with a slide so we got her that. And we also got her a pack of Chelsea dolls and then for my baby, he will be getting one of those little, the toy that like you pull it with a string and you pull it behind them and then a pack of Mega Blocks and then like some little like match cart, matchbox cars, I think that's what they're called, those like, little, <laughs> little cars. He likes the realistic looking ones like my other boys did too, so I'll be getting some of those. So last minute, I decided to get a little broom dustpan set. Every time we sweep, he tries to grab the broom and he wants to do it, but it just makes a big mess. <laughs> I think he's really going to love it. I also got him this really cute remote control car set. It comes with two cars and then the controls have two buttons on it and that's it. He's a little bit younger than what it's intended for. I think at three is what it's recommended for. I'm hoping he can do it. And for stockings, I usually go all out at the dollar store <laughs> and then I'll just kind of see what dollar store has, if they have anything, little snacks and stuff, of course candy. This year I decided to do stockings just from the dollar store. I normally do most of it from the dollar store, but this time I just did all of it. I'll go through everything one by one so you can see what we did. This year the stockings are just full of edible stuff, aka junk food. Last year we had little crafts and things in their stockings and they just didn't get used, so I figured my kids would appreciate a bunch of junk food and it makes it easy for me. So, the bottom of each stocking will have one of these hot chocolate bombs. My kids like them a lot. The baby won't get one of these, but the kids will. All the kids will have one of these little generic M&M candy cane things. Peppermint bark bars are nice and thick. I probably should have gotten one for myself. They look really good. This was a three pack of Cracker Jacks. So each kid will get one of these. Everyone gets their own bag of kisses. I got two boxes of fruit by the foot. I never buy these except Christmas sometimes. So each of my older kids will get two rolls, not two packages. 
I got these really cute chocolate figurines, each different for each kid, so that there's no fighting about it or no mistakenly eating someone else's chocolate. And then I just got a bunch of candy. So we got peppermint patties, two bags of that, peanut butter cups, also two bags, chocolate Santas. This year they didn't have any chocolate covered marshmallows. That's so sad. Chocolate balls and chocolate balls. And I'll just open these and just divide them between the stockings. Now for my one-year-old, he likes candy a lot. So he will get some, but not that much. So he'll just get, he might get a few pieces of this or the peanut butter cups. But he'll get one of these and one of these. And a little pack of cars. So that's what we're doing for stockings this year. All from the dollar store. This year they didn't have as much as they normally do. Like normally I get glow sticks and hot chocolate packets and little chocolate covered marshmallows. That's okay. And this is just an easy stocking. And then there's not a lot of little things that are going to stick around your house all year long and take a broom. Now for actual Christmas, I know a lot of homeschooling families are taking most of December off or just doing Christmas school all month, which sounds really fun, but we are a bit behind where I wanted to be at this point because certain children went <laughs> through lots of fits this year, which is okay. We're getting past that, but we'll probably do our normal school schedule, maybe even through the 23rd just because coming back from Thanksgiving break, we only took three days off of Thanksgiving and it has been a struggle to get my youngest back into school. She keeps thinking it's Christmas break, which obviously it's not. So I think we're just gonna take the weekend off instead of having more than just that amount of time. My kids seem to bounce back better from holidays if we don't have a big long break. So we'll probably do school up until the 22nd, 23rd. And then obviously Saturday we're not doing school. And then for Christmas, this will be the first year since we've been married, that we're not driving to Idaho or Arizona and no one's coming to stay with us. And I'm so looking forward to it. Just having Christmas the way we want to have it at our own house. <laughs> so in the morning, I'm sure we'll do stockings and the presents from us. And then we'll go to church and then come home. And after that, my parents are coming over and doing the presents that I bought using my mom's money. <laughs> so the kids open that then. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that, breaking it up, because it I just get so much from my mom and other relatives. So when we go to their house, usually it's like, oh, you can't play with anything. Let's just open presents, open presents. And you can't open anything to play with it because it might get lost in the wrapping paper and get thrown away. And I just, I don't like that at all. So I'm really glad we're breaking it up a bit more this year. I'm not sure what we'll do for breakfast. I kind of want to do something simple, just because I don't want to do a lot of work in the kitchen on Christmas. So I might do overnight uh, French toast where you, you assemble it in a, a pan and bake it in the morning. And then growing up, my mom always peeled oranges and cut them in slices and then dipped it in powdered sugar. And those were like Christmas. <laughs> I love those. So I'll probably do that as well. And then for lunch, I thought we just, everyone could just get whatever they want. Usually it's quesadillas at my house, at least for the kids. And then for dinner, I'll probably do you know, a ham or something, maybe mashed potatoes. When my parents come over, I thought it might be nice to have a big platter with a bunch of different kinds of cookies on it, just so everyone could just <laughs> take out during the day. But I'm not sure if I'll do that or not, because that's a lot of work. And since we're doing school the week before, I don't know. If I do that, I'll probably do snickerdoodles or sugar cookies, those little pecan sandies, or, or sometimes called Mexican wedding cakes. Maybe chocolate crinkles, possibly gingerbread men. I'm gluten-free, so I haven't found a good gluten-free recipe for those yet. So... I'm not sure if I'll do that or not, but if you want to steal that idea, feel free. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really looking forward to a very low-key Christmas that we can just be ourselves. So let me know in the comments what you're doing for Christmas. I would love to hear it. Well, read it. <laughs> Are you having family over? Is it a quiet Christmas? Any good recipes you're making? <laughs> Alright, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out and helps the channel out. And I hope you guys have a great Christmas. Bye.